What up boys and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be talking about this. I will be streaming exclusively on Mixer. That's right boys, we'll be talking about Ninja and his move, but some secrets behind the video. Guys, remember to drop a like on this video and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we post these videos, boys. Also, we'll be doing a shout out a little bit later. So if you wanna get a shout out, remember to go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section below. It can be hello, it can be shout out, whatever you want, guys. And we'll pick a random person to give a shout out to. All right, boys, let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, you guys know the Ninja left Twitch for Mixer. Uh, basically, he said, this is the reason why. I feel like this is a really good chance to get back in touch with my roots and really remember why I fell in love with streaming in the first place. Ninja, Ninja, Ninja. Now, just a touch on Ninja's roots. Guys, remember, Ninja started gaming with his brothers playing Halo, and he got so good, he was destroying them. This, of course, led him into the competition circuit where he was able to showcase his talents at a very young age. And then he ended up moving into the streaming scene and started it off on Justin.tv. That was the name of the streaming platform that he started off on before he moved into Mixer, right? So that's where we're at right now. So why am I explaining this? Because between Justin.tv and Mixer, there was Twitch. Twitch bought out Justin.tv, and so that became his streaming platform for quite some time. I believe about eight years, guys, he was streaming on Twitch. So the question is, what exactly is the roots that he's trying to return to. And guys, this is the clincher of this video that he showed. This, I think, will reveal the roots that he's referring to. Please, I don't got much time left, Ninja. Now, guys, you might have missed it, but I'm gonna take a still from that part of the video. Now, pay close attention, guys. Seated behind the old man to his left, guys, you can see the ominous figure. It looks like, that's right boys, a Spartan. And you know what game Spartans come from? Halo. Boys, the secret is out. Ninja left Twitch because he wanted to play Halo. All right, boys, that wasn't the only reason he left Twitch. Let's listen to this next question. All right, let's do it. Wow. All right, guys, just in case you did not get the question, let's go ahead and recap it. Wow. All right, boys, let's not be naive. Ninja didn't leave Twitch from the goodness of his heart, guys, to go stream with Mixer. Guys, he was paid, obviously. So a lot of people are trying to figure out how much he was paid. Some are saying a million dollars. Some are saying $10 million. So anywhere in between there, guys, or maybe more. We have no idea. Obviously, I don't think Ninja is going to tell anyone anytime soon. But guys, nevertheless, Ninja is in a good place right now. He says he likes his new streaming platform. And essentially, he is in a streaming place of Zen right now. He did his first stream on Mixer at the Lollapalooza event. Check it out. Did all right. We're here. We're live, man. I did not know that my voice was going to be echoing throughout this entire area. So first ever stream on Mixer, and I'm, uh, and I'm just um, I'm pumped. First time also ever streaming season 10 Fortnite. So uh, but yeah, guys, this is it. Let's get it going. I'm pumped. I'm ready. You guys are going to see some epic gameplay, some Vic Roy's. So just uh, sit tight, relax, and let's have a good time. Thank you guys so much for coming. Appreciate it. Thing he does. I did not have you can obviously see how excited Ninja is about the move. He was pretty pumped up on the stream and the community was very welcoming as you can see behind him. And his supporters, as far as the people he played with, were also supportive of him. As you can see, Cloaksy gifted him some emotes and he received gifts from numerous other streamers that he played with as well. Now you'd think that this would be the end of the story, but obviously there's always a little bit of drama 
because what would the world be without drama, guys? But before we show the video, guys, let's do a quick shout out to Wilbur. If you guys want a shout out, remember to drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we post these videos so that you guys can get your shout out. Shout out to you, Wilbur. Thanks for answering questions in the chat, bro. Appreciate it. All right, guys, take a look at this clip. Super professional. We haven't said anything bad or negative about Twitch, obviously, because there really hadn't been any reason to. Over the last couple of days, there have been some things that have been going on that, you know, we let slide. They were kind of annoying. Little jabs, we felt like, but it didn't matter. We wanted to stay professional. But now, for those of you who don't know, if you go to twitch.tv slash ninja, they advertise other channels. They don't do this for anyone else that's offline, by the way. Just me. And there are also other streamers who have signed with other platforms whose stream and channel still remains the same. You can see their VODs. They don't promote other streams. They don't promote, promote other popular channels but they do on mine. I've been streaming for eight years to build my brand, to build that channel, 14 and a half million followers, and they were still using my channel to promote other streamers. Well, now there was a porn account that was number one being recommended on my channel, and I have no say in any of this stuff. So this is like, the, this is the line, this is the straw. We're trying to get the whole channel taken down to begin with, or at least not promote other streamers and other channels on my brand, on my freaking profile. So for anyone who saw that, for anyone whose kids, or, or who just didn't obviously want to see that, I apologize, and, uh, and I'm sorry. So basically what happened is Twitch took Ninja's channel and it was basically advertising on Ninja's channel, using his brand to advertise. Now, here's the thing. People will ask, can Twitch do this? How can Twitch do this? How can Twitch use a channel and basically reappropriate that channel guys twitch has that in their license that they can do this guys now ninja retweeted a post by justin wong and he says this twitch's decision to unilaterally promote other channels on ninja's channel represents a long-running internal conflict at twitch who owns the viewers the streamer or the platform well here's the thing Obviously, the platform believes they own everything because they have the keys to the kingdom, guys. If you do something wrong, they have the right and the control to lock your channel down. And that's what power is, boys. So the question now becomes, is it morally right, just because you have the power, to advertise on someone else's channel? And obviously, guys, most of us will say no. That, that's kind of shady business, right? But... It appears that Twitch has the law behind him. Now, here's the cool thing that Ninja did in his video. He actually apologized for Twitch, obviously on behalf of his brand, uh, to the viewers who actually saw that, who accidentally saw that. He's a family-friendly streamer. He stopped cursing. Uh, he wanted to put forth this brand towards people, and he did the high road and came out and apologized, guys. So that was pretty awesome that Ninja uh, took that high ground. So anyway, guys, that's what's going on right now. That's what's going on with Ninja. He's now a part of Mixer. And guys, remember to drop a like on the video if you like this content. And hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we post these videos and for your shout outs, boys. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining us. And take a look at this win in Arena Solos. Let's do it. All right, plus 30 hype. Let's go, baby. All right, let's see, what's this guy gonna do? He's above me, he's live right now. I'm gonna pick this stuff up. Okay, he's above me on the house. I don't know where the other guy is. Uh, there's like three people left, okay. I'm gonna build here, up okay. No, that wasn't for me. I'm gonna bust it through the wall. All right, I'm gonna run through the house, no traps. Nope, we're good. All right, I need some mats though, I'm low. All right, let me get some of these. I don't need, ah, oh, I could've got the splash, never mind. All right, let's see. he's up top. Yep. All right, keep running. Nobody shooting. Nobody shooting. It's good. It's good. Let's go up, 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 up. All right, he's up there. Let's see if I can get him. Yes. One more. Nice. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go. Hey, wait. Uh, okay, never mind. I was gonna pick up the grenade and toss it, but I don't have time for that. And I gotta really remember to reload. To reload. Here we go. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Alright, here we go. I'm 
shoot. I'm gonna shoot it down. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna drop. Alright, so four left. Okay, here he is. Where is he at? Okay. He's the other one died. Oh my gosh! <laughs> nice! Yes, baby! Good job! Boys, good game, good game. Thanks for joining me.